All right, I am going to walk you through the Justin Welsh content matrix, starting in ChatGPT. I'm gonna slide over to Perplexity and do a bunch of cool things. So I've already copied the prompt. You can see here, I need your help to generate content ideas. Sort of description of who you are, blah, blah, blah. So there's two sections to fill out this content matrix. Four pillars for your content and this section here. We're actually gonna fill out my content and put it in Airtable here. And I'm gonna walk you through the whole thing and then we'll even write a post at the end. This might go 15 minutes. I might just, who cares, right? Um, let's go to my profile, let's close my DMs down. And let's get my about section. So it doesn't say much about me, but you know what? We're gonna go with it. So there, back here, it says a little bit about what I do. I'm gonna add some more. Good enough, okay. First part, we'll leave that. We'll go down here to my pillars. I'm gonna do AI, LinkedIn growth, and we'll do ChatGPT. And let's see, we'll go remote work like that. And we'll click enter. You can see here, the content matrix is delivering the sauce. By sauce, I mean hooks. So, gonna let it deliver. Now there's multiple ways for me to get great hook ideas. This Justin Welsh content matrix method is one of them. I also use Tugan AI to come up with hooks, but that's a different video. Um, and unless I hate these, we're not gonna go over to Tugan. We're gonna stick with these right here. So, let's see. So just by looking at this, I feel like my topics are too broad. So I'm actually gonna stop and reprompt this. So let's do that. So I've copied the whole thing here. Scroll down. And we're going to repaste it. And I'm going to go here and fix these. So I'm going to go AI and copywriting. I'm going to go ChatGPT for social media growth, remote work, and stories from stories of growing business while traveling, LinkedIn growth for new. Business owner. So more specific. Let's see how the content matrix does with this. I think I'm going to be more pleased with these results. Key as always with prompting is to give more details, more information. Sometimes you have to reprompt. Sometimes you redo your prompt. I will share this Justin Welsh prompt with you. Basically, it gives you topics full month worth of post topics. Let's take a look and analyze them now. Seven growth hacks every business owner, should, that's really good. Must know tips for integrating AI into your, wow, that's actually really good. Cool, I'm much happier with these. Now we're gonna go to the next stage, which is actually skipping perplexity for a minute and jumping over to Airtable. Now you can use Trello, Airtable, any number of things. Uh, my preference is Airtable. Now, I have a bunch of posts here that I have not even written. So we're gonna duplicate this and duplicate the records. And you're just gonna see what I do when I nerd out. So we'll delete, these are all old posts now. Delete, delete, delete. And we'll even delete some records like so.
and you don't want to watch me do this so okay so I've got my four pillars here we'll go back to chat GPT and now we'll analyze them so five straps to leveraging AI for crafting compelling copy not bad from zero to hero inspiring LinkedIn growth stories too broad for me why most LinkedIn I like that that's kind of interesting AI copying already myths emerging trends human this is cool okay so essentially what you do is take one of these so let's do this pretty good come over I copy paste it and there's my hook now what I like to do is create my hooks and organize my content and write it in separate sessions so what I would then do simply just come over to perplexity copy paste it and I'm gonna even go okay so you can say what your focus is I'm gonna let it do all of it and I'm not gonna attach anything we're just gonna go nice and broad with this perplexity is gonna search the entire internet and give me some answers so you can see it pulled up some LinkedIn posts and 21 other sources from Reddit. Uh, that looks like Twitch, LinkedIn, a bunch of different places. And it actually gave me seven. So the cool thing is, and a bunch of sources. I love this about perplexity. Now you can actually go check this out. This was written in November, probably still pretty relevant. It's gonna have a bunch of great tips for you just pull from for your post writing. Now, what I would do is multiple things. So if I found a couple sources I like, I'd go in there and share that. Sometimes I'll actually save the perplexity link. So just like that, copy link, come back into your table. And then I can go back to perplexity and see the results when I'm ready to write this post. Now, if I'm feeling extra frisky and I like the answers here, so analyze and adjust strategy, brace micro influencers, etc., I would actually just go right ahead and copy um, this whole thing. Now, you can go a lot deeper here in perplexity. For example, you can ask it to rewrite the answer with Copilot, GPT-4, Claude. So, for example, you want it more storyteller just click this and I'll actually rewrite you know this with the Claude AI model which is pretty cool Claude will give you a much different result than chat GPT you can see here actually I like the way this is organized so this is very clean very nice this could be turned into a really simple carousel for you with a couple of tools so you can see here it's giving you better now the cool thing with perplexity is you can go deeper it gives you other suggestions relevant to your search so how to optimize your LinkedIn profile for growth that could be a cool one to explore how to measure success it lets you go deeper so what I would actually do here is just copy paste this come over to authored up paste it like that now at this point what I'll actually do is since I'm very knowledgeable in this space, I'll check each answer myself and I'll know whether it's true or not. However, if you are not so sure, um, the great thing about this, all the sources are here. If you go back a step to the ChatGPT version that I was searching with, it gives you all the sources actually right in here. You can also just click here, view sources, and you can see all of these different sources perplexity pulled from to write these seven answers for you there's even youtube videos in there uh, it's pretty awesome so the odds are this information is going to be correct again do some research check out the sources um, might get some more ideas from that anyways coming over here so you have your list of seven right now uh, uh, we also had the hook for this post way back in the beginning, which was 
seven length and growth axe every owner should try so you come over here boom now that hook's not perfect you can see up here i'm actually just going to use my skills to rewrite this quickly so i'd probably go every business owner should try um every business owner needs linkedin in 2024 here and then here here are seven growth hacks save you time probably do that so again just slightly rewriting this to make it better i could go prompt it and figure this out but i like this and there you have it. Now, the cool thing here is, again, this section at the end is not good, but for the sake of this video, we're going long, we'll leave it. From here, you can do a few things. You can go back to ChatGPT and prompt it to get a better answer. Or we can actually just go ahead and use another tool that I use called SuperGrow. And then what you do is actually format your content, copy paste, just like this, select post format, and you can basically get it to format everything. Now, if I actually just wanted to go ahead and create a carousel, I'd go to Carousel Maker. I think I might even try text to carousel. Let's see what it does for me. And then let's pick this and let's see if AI will turn that perplexity answer into a carousel. Okay, so I'm here in Supergirl and you can see the prompting has done the work for us. Every business owner needs LinkedIn 24. Here are seven growth hacks to save you time. And it's actually gone ahead and done this for us. Optimize your profile, get your content, use that search. So all the text is right there, which is pretty cool. And the nice thing about this carousel maker is you can actually add an image like so. And again, you can add obviously an image from your desktop to make it more relevant. You can drag and drop everything in here. You can make that bold. You can make it bigger. It's super easy to quickly create a carousel just like that and then go ahead and download it and save it and upload it. So you can see here, very simple. I went from ChatGPT, got an idea here, slid over to perplexity, switched to the Claude model, broke it down into a carousel, seven slides, came over to SuperGrow, and boom, you have a carousel, you've got a post. All that took just a few minutes. Essentially what I would do typically is fill out all my content ideas in here with a combination of the ChatGPT research, perplexity, my own brain just from having scanned so much content and fill out ideas here and then I'd go ahead and do what I showed you. Um, you know, and obviously in a typical scenario, I will customize all of this a lot more. I don't just straight post AI stuff, even though this is going to be pretty good answers. Like, look at this, optimize your profile, professional headshot, compelling headline, detailed work experience skills, more discovery, incredible. All that's true. I would just make it more in my own words. I'd most likely take this whole answer and go over to chat GPT and actually start a new section and prompt it and get it more in my tone. Um, you know, I have multiple posts about how I do this, so I would tweak it until I get there. But for this video, I really just wanted to show you uh, how easy it is to use this content matrix to get pretty dang good um, hook ideas, to then use perplexity to turn them into carousels like this, uh, and then to use SuperGrow to actually create the carousels really easily. Now, this is great for carousel creation. Like I said, if you want to do storytelling posts, other posts in AI, I have videos about that too, but I've run out of time, so we're going to end it today. Hope that was helpful. If you're interested, I'm going to be hosting an AI webinar soon to teach you how to create and save time with AI. Drop a hello in the comments if you watch to the end here.